Thank you, doll. Yeah. A bit more, a bit more, sweetie. Done. Put it upright, mummy. What are you swallowing? Oh. Most of it is gone. First is the left thigh, mummy. Oh, You're yeah. going to hold her close to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The immunizations is not the GPs. No, I know. It's the I think it's extremely important to get the vaccine. I think we need to make sure that our children are protected. Um, we don't know how or when they might contract it, and being fully vaccinated means um, a lot of um, it prevents a lot of worry and prevents a lot of upset. And obviously, if anything was to happen, um, it would just have catastrophic impacts. I think that's also important because one of my concerns is sort of being at the playground at the moment and having a little boy and my baby being around the other children and if she's not protected um, until she's had her vaccination then she could easily catch it off someone else so I, I personally you know it is a worry actually being in the playground knowing that other children might not be protected. We've got lots of campaigns going around. We've got posters around about about measles and and why it's important to vaccinate. And uh, every parent has a red, little red book. And now, presently, this this NHS England is sending out texts to all children, all parents. So they're ringing up and asking, "Is my child covered?" So most of our parents have vaccinated their children, but there's a few pockets here and there who haven't. You know, but we're working on those, and we're sort of actively uh, involved in ringing them and reminding them. Or when they come in uh, opportunistically, we remind them. It's not like having a cold or a cough. It can lead to really serious complications. So anywhere between 1 in 5 and 1 in 20 children uh, can end up with complications such as pneumonia, so a serious infection of the lungs, meningitis, which might lead to hospital admission. Some children have been ending up in intensive care in the past, and it can even lead to long-term disabilities such as deafness or, or even death in some cases. And there have been recent deaths across the world of children with measles and we should really remember that there's an effective way to prevent this which is to have two doses of the MMR vaccine.
So the UK Health Security Agency has predicted uh, of anywhere between 60 and 110,000 cases of measles across the capital alone. So it is something that we're really worried about uh, and we really want to engage with parents and try and work out, you know, what are the barriers here that we can work with you uh, to try and address so that we can increase confidence in, in vaccinations. We are far off in a couple of boroughs, in particular in London. So Hackney and Camden have low uptake, as low as around 56%. So um, that's why we're particularly focused on these areas to try and increase coverage. So around here we have community clinics, we have Sunday clinics uh, to make it more accessible for people to come forward, to, for parents to bring their children at times that are more suitable for them. Uh, really trying to get as much communications out there uh, together with our community champions and really try and get the message around vaccinations being safe and the best way to protect uh, children and families. Actually, for some Muslim and Jewish people, having, um, uh, having vaccinations that have got animal products isn't an issue because it's permissible, it's for their health. But for those people that have objection to it, we have got alternative vaccinations. Um, and routinely, we offer those uh, non-animal product vaccines in this area just to make sure that that's not a barrier for our residents. Well, I would just urge everyone to do it. I don't understand really what the what, what's preventing people from doing it. Um, by getting the vaccine, it means your children are protected. They won't get measles. So I would just urge everybody to come and, and do it. She's probably hot. 